Hello guys, today I'm going to be going over why most of our current carrier designs do not make any sense. Alrighty, let me start off here. Although, for instance, this one is, is aesthetically pleasing, let's take a look at the inside and see what the issues we are facing are. First off, there's not a lot of room in here. Not a lot of room for the drones to get out of here. Especially if your ship is moving, that is a very narrow space for it to go. Now moving on over here. Yeah, we got some side doors here. But from the way the layout is, you'd expect a lot of the drones to come out this way. I mean, it's good if you're just launching in them, but if you wanted them to return, that'd be a huge issue. Let's take this guy for, let's take him out of here. Don't get me wrong, this is a nice ship. I really like it. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> um. All righty. Inside's cramped. A lot of the room is not used for the fighters, but I believe that ship is just for mostly looks. Now on to this one. This one here is a little more practical. Most of the ships are going to be exposed on this one. You can't just land it here, you know, you can't program them to do whatever you want. Um, but for the most part, yeah, it's a, it's a good solid ship. Pretty massive though. This, I would say this one's fairly good. But that is the exception. Most of the ships here have the same issue. Take for instance this one. Looks fairly nice. Once you go on the inside, if I could, maybe I could fit. Let me find out here. All right, vault. Let's uh, gotta do this another way. All right. But as you come in here, you can see there's not a lot of room for the for maneuverability and such. And it's the same issue with the uh, the first ship, the first carrier I showed you. look here you know, you're gonna have to move over these ships around they're gonna have to land them of course uh, go over each one of these with the AI recording block and if you got a lot of ships moving and your ship is moving as well it's gonna be a disaster in here and this thing's gonna be ripped apart from the inside let's get back out of here I think one way they could have alleviated it to some degree is if you had the exit, you know, on the front, and you had an entrance in the rear, that would be very, very beneficial. But some ships, they have bypass this problem altogether. And also, this is just another exit. It's not an entrance. It does not link up to the other side. Anyways, some ships have bypassed this. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Let me show you something here. Now this design, pretty basic, pretty cool. Let me get something here. Oh. come up to it it opens up for you after flashing a few times Let's see what's the name of this guy here uh, it's not being broadcasted opens up you're able to fly in decent amount of space for probably a larger fighter 
Or for this size fighter. If you land in on a connector, it's perfect. The only thing you have to worry about is just getting your ship out of here. It's not going to bonk around a lot, given how much space he's got, he's got in there. So yeah, this is a fairly good design for a carrier. And it's fairly basic. Not the best looking, but it is going to work for your needs. There's a few other carriers down there. Uh, let's slow down here. They're very basic, but they'll get the job done. Uh, everything's exposed though, and you know, depending on circumstances, you know, maybe that could be a problem. Um, but if you're competent, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Submarine. This thing is a terrible atmospheric carrier. This thing does not fly properly by itself. You really have to be on top of it, but uh, I guess this is an okay example. So you got the exit and you got the entrance from the rear. In, it probably makes sense to have two AI recording blocks. One for the deployment and the other for the return. And you can probably have it return from the rear so if you're deploying, you know, if you're, you know, say if you had a carrier that was building other fighters as they're being destroyed, um, and they're associated to these connectors, you could have them made, and then they can be launched, and that way, you know, the ones that run out of the ammunition or whatever, they can return, and they won't be in the way of the fighters that are taking off. A really good example here is probably one you guys all know and love. Let me delete a few of these here real quick. My game doesn't freeze. most well-known carrier, player-made carrier in this game. It's literally based off the Wyvern Super Carrier from EVE Online, there's no doubt about that. Let me get back into my little fighter here. I'm loading in. We're lagging. There it is. Revelation. Although it has a bulky design, it's it's somewhat practical uh, besides its PCU and um, block cost to build it. It's very expensive and impractical um, given its PCU cost, but in overall design it makes sense as a carrier. Very large, open area. They can fly in from the rear, exit from the front, and that's what you want. So things aren't just running into each other. It's a lot of room to move around as well. And I think when building a carrier, we should take these types into consideration, given that they just make sense. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's just my review on these carriers. What makes sense, what works, and what doesn't. Um, you know, the final thoughts here is that we should just make a smaller iteration of this one. You know, maybe not have that crap right there. So that fighters can easily return to the carrier from the rear. 
for lots of room. I'm pretty sure it'd be easy for them, even even if uh, you know, like say the Revelation carrier was moving, it'll make a lot more sense to have entrance and an exit versus just uh, an exit that also has to serve as an entrance. So yeah, I think that's what we should take in consideration when building these behemoths, especially given their cost. And they're not going to be frontline fighters either, so, I mean, uh, battle carriers are cool, but I kind of, you know, I, I think they shouldn't be frontline fighters, you know, up in their face, because, well, kind of defeats the purpose of a carrier. Uh, maybe have some more dedicated battleships and battle cruisers uh, do the uh, brawling, brawling for you. Uh, anyhow, that's it. And uh, yeah, you might see me uh, making a carrier. It might take a few months, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, and I'm gonna build the carrier and the specifications that I thought of. Anyways, guys. You have a good. Let me see if I can land this. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for, but take care.